It's a war that the American president is fighting alone. He has attacked India, China and Russia, this time over climate change. Donald Trump says these countries do not fulfill, do not fulfill their responsibilities towards the environment. Blaming these nations for not doing enough, he said, and I'm quoting, China, India, Russia, many other nations, they do not have very good air, not very good water, and a sense of pollution and cleanliness. Not just that, Trump patted himself on the back for a job well done, claiming that the U.S. was among the most environment-friendly nations in the world. His arguments hold no water whatsoever. We'll demolish them one by one. But first, let's tell you how India responded to the comments today. Look, our under Ministry of Environment and Forest, the nodal ministry, and the steps we have taken towards climate change, और जो हमारे प्रधानमंत्री ने इसके लिए एक लीड लिया है मुझे लगता है कि ये सबके लिए बहुत ही क्लियर है इंडिया इज एट द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ फाइटिंग क्लाइमेट चेंज इंडिया इज एट द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ फाइटिंग फॉर अ क्लीनर एंड ग्रीनर प्लैनेट एंड आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन रियली कमेंट ऑन स्पेसिफिक कमेंट्स मेड बाय अदर लीडर्स आईरोनिकली ट्रम्प्स रिमार्क्स ऑन इंडिया इंडिया स्कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट अनक्लेनलीनेस एज ही पुट इट कम ऑन अ डे व्हेन द कंट्री स्वच्छ भारत or nationwide cleanliness program got the UNICEF's approval. In a report, the UNICEF said that the Swachh Bharat initiative has led to, a, to cleaner groundwater in India. Environment responsibility and Donald Trump, we can tell you, are opposites. Let alone act against it, the president does not even believe in climate change. He calls it a hoax. Though even that statement later saw the trademark Trump U-turn. Coming back to the president's latest remarks, though, he claims that America has, quote-unquote, among the cleanest climates based on all statistics. With statistics, we don't know because the numbers don't agree with that claim. There is, that's not surprising given that Donald Trump and facts usually do not get along. When it comes to carbon dioxide emissions, the U.S. remains one of the top defaulters in the world. A report released by the Rhodium Group in January this year found that U.S. carbon dioxide emissions rose by 3.4% in 2018. The increase was the highest in eight years. So much for being clean. The health of the country's national parks is one of the best indicators of air quality. According to a report from the U.S.-based National Parks Conservation Association, some 85% of American national parks have levels of air pollution that, that are hazardous for human health. In 80% of American national parks, climate change is a significant concern. 96% are plagued by significant air pollution problems. 88% have air pollution that is damaging to sensitive species. All this while President Trump points fingers at other countries. During his visit to the UK, Trump met Prince Charles, who's known for being a climate change crusader, so much so that his Aston Martin runs on a fuel mixture that includes white wine. I'm not kidding. Donald Trump said that he was mighty impressed by Prince Charles's commitment and that they both want a world that is good for future generations. Very well, if only the president walked the talk. For now, he's walking in the opposite direction. In June 2017, Trump pulled the U.S. out of the historic Paris climate change deal. He later disbanded his 15-member advisory panel on climate change. Because of its exit from the climate pact, the U.S. will probably not achieve its target of reducing carbon emissions by 2025. Climate change is no longer just an environmental issue. It's a political one. U.S. presidential hopefuls want to try and undo President Trump's mistakes. They understand how important the issue is and the sense of frustration on the ground. Several contenders eyeing the 2020 presidential race have based their campaign on the issue of climate change. Thumbs up for them. The numbers don't seem to be enough to enlighten Donald Trump. So an 18-year-old in, in India tried to school him. In November last year, Asta Sarma from Jorhat in Assam tried explaining the difference between weather and climate to the 72-year-old leader of America. Last year, the president had tweeted, and I quote, brutal and extended cold blasts could shatter all records. Whatever happened to global warming, naturally, the tweet did not go down well with many across the world. The Indian teen fired back. She said, and I'm quoting, this is what this little girl said. I'm 54 years younger than you. I just finished high school with average marks. But even I can tell you that weather is not climate. If you want help understanding that, I can lend you my encyclopedia when I was in the second grade. It has pictures 
and everything, unquote. Best answer, we say. It seems the U.S. president has still not learned his lesson.